Hello and welcome to Factual Insider, the channel that strives to cover as many facts as possible. Today we will be discussing 10 facts of the Hyperdimension Neptunia game franchise you may not know. If you find any of the facts to be interesting, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive notifications. With that being said, let's get started. Number 1. Did you know that the four goddesses in Hyperdimension Neptunia are representations of other game consoles? Vert is the Xbox 360, Noah is the PlayStation 3, Blonde is the Nintendo Wii, and Neptune is themed off of the cancelled Sega console, the Neptune. The four sisters, Rom and Ram are both the Nintendo DS, Uni is PSP and Nepgear is the Game Gear. There are also so many other characters based off of other game consoles and game companies too. Hence why the world in Hyperdimension Neptunia is called Game Industry since the game is a portrayal of the real-life game industry. Number 2. The developer, Compile Heart was formed by former Compile employees. Compile used to be known for Ma Dao Mo no Gatari and Puyo Puyo before Sega purchased the rights to Puyo Puyo and before Compile faced bankruptcy later on. Please make sure to also check out our other video covering 10 facts you may not know about Puyo Puyo. In fact, in Hyperdimension Neptunia Mark II and Hyperdimension Neptunia Victory are the remakes Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth 2 and Rebirth 3. You can see a character named Compile which is themed off the game company Compile. You can also clearly see a green Puyo on her belt and Carbuncle's ears on her head. Number 3. During the release of Mega Dimension Neptunia V2, over Japan there were PlayStation 4 consoles that were themed off of Neptunia. One console had the four goddesses on it while the other console had Noah on it. A perfect fit for a PlayStation console. You could choose to have a white or black console. Sadly this special edition PlayStation 4 never made it outside of Japan. Number 4. Did you know that the Hyperdimension Neptunia anime was animated by the same studio as JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Released in 2013, the Hyperdimension Neptunia anime was fan favorite which later got a dub by Funimation in the West. However, during the anime's production, JoJo fans expressed grief towards David Studios who was responsible for both JoJo's Bizarre Adventure and the Hyperdimension Neptunia anime. Number 5. The original Hyperdimension Neptunia game that was released in Japan in 2010 and the West in 2011 ran on the same engine as another game called Trinity Universe which also shared the same style of gameplay. Fans and critics of the first Hyperdimension Neptunia game expressed disinterest to the first title's gameplay which prompted Compile Heart and Idea Factory to recreate the style of gameplay for future Neptunia games which started with Hyperdimension Neptunia Mark II, released in Japan in 2011 and the West in 2012. Number 6. In the original Hyperdimension Neptunia game, the player could summon Sega characters in battle to help assist the player. The Sega characters mostly consisted of characters from previous Sega Genesis or Mega Drive games and Sega Master System games. This was a feature that only lasted in the original Hyperdimension Neptunia title. Number 7. All four main goddesses with the exception of Neptune, have their names of colors in French. Noah is black, Bird is green and Blonde is white. Number 8. Mega Dimension Neptunia V2 is set during the 8th gen of game consoles. While newcomer Uzi Mei is based off of the Sega Dreamcast, the four main goddess later on harness greater power and show them as representations of the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Wii U. However Neptune is still themed off of the Neptune. However, the previous mainline title, Hyper Dimension Neptunia Victory is set around the goddess's first game consoles. Blonde is the Nintendo Entertainment System or the Famicom. Noah is the original PlayStation and Bird is the original Xbox in the dimension set in Victory. Newcomer Plutia is based off the Genesis or Mega Drive which actually is not Sega's first game console. Number 9. From 2011 to 2014, the Hyperdimension Neptunia series used to be published by NIS Software in the West who was mostly known for the Disc Gaia series. However later on in 2014, Idea Factory became the publisher in the West and took over the series. Number 10. Despite Nissan no longer being a part of Hyperdimension Neptunia due to the exchange between Idea Factory and NIS, Nissan now makes an appearance in the Disc IA series and there will be subtle references in the series of Nissan once being a part of Neptunia. Well there you have it. Those were 10 facts about Hyperdimension Neptunia you may not know. Hope that the video was enjoyable and entertaining and you are encouraged to watch more facts about other game franchises. See you next time.